Namaskaram, Assalamualaikum. Uh, before I start what I want to say to get today here, may I request this uh, nice women sitting here to clap for yourself? May I request you all to clap for yourself, not for me. Clap for yourself. Strong, very strong. Let this all roar with your More. I am requesting ladies sitting over here also clap for yourself. You know why I why you clapped? You clapped for yourself. You celebrated your being a woman. And it is important that you celebrate who you are. That you that you be proud of your being a woman. So here I take the opportunity to celebrate that I'm a woman, to be proud of the fact that I'm a woman and I'm clapping again. And I request you again, clap so loudly that your heart starts beating fast. Thank you so much. Uh, I'm born in North, somehow become daughter of South. And it is, it is indeed pleasure to become daughter of South, to get the love from you all, to get the respect from you all, to get the support. I remember people of Kerala started supporting me when I was not supported. When narrative was coming against me that I am an anti-national, that I am anti-community, that I am what not. But people of Kerala, with your love and support, made me to be there. So I am thankful to people of Kerala for supporting, for extending love, for strengthening me. Today, will not deliver lectures and all, but very few things that I'll lay emphasis on, that I'll try to speak. One, we being women. So I request students there in the gathering to please understand What I am saying, because it is hardly that someone comes to you and tries to pour out or tries to share experience. So when I, try, when I told you to clap your hands, I told you to celebrate yourself. I, I told you to celebrate your being a woman. You are visiting yourself because, because the time has come or the present time that we are sailing in since 2014, we are seeing violence against women. We saw how rape accused of Bilkis Bano, how rape accused of Bilkis Bano were set free, how center government allowed their remission the same Bilkis Bano, the same Bilkis Bano who was raped when she was pregnant. The same Bilkis Bano whose family members were killed when she was pregnant. The same Bilkis Bano whose child was killed. So the time has come, my dear women, time has come that you know who you are. Time has come when you, when you need to know what constitution of this country gives you. Time has come that you know how to raise your voice, whether you are wearing hijab or not wearing a hijab. 
whether you are wearing a sari whether you are wearing jeans pants or you are wearing hijab be proud of what you are be proud of what you are my dear women because because men cannot teach us what to wear and what not to wear especially bhartiya janta party bhartiya janta party has no entitlement to teach women of this great country what to wear and what not to wear it is your choice it is my choice what to wear whether to be wear a hijab or to wear a sari so today i am here with a message of love with a message of peace with a message to you all please get up <coughs> please get up and know your strength please get up and worship constitution of this country please get up and stand against these fascist forces because they are they are helping to divide us they are helping to divert us and i am thankful to i am thankful for one thing only the way people of this great place this god's own country are maintaining common brotherhood this people of this great place are maintaining secularism so my request to you all with folded hands please maintain this please be please be please stay together with each other please fight against these fascist forces please say no to them because it is important it is important that you raise your voice one for yourself the other for others that you that you are so strong mentally this is specially for you women here because we are 50% of the population now you raise your voice and say yes i am 50% of the population raise your voice raise your hands raise your hands interact with me please interact with me yeah raise your hands all of you all of you yes very good yeah so beautiful so beautiful i am so thankful so you know it that you are 50% of the total population you are literate you are educated so you should know who you are again i am saying to all of you again i am saying to all of you you should know who you are it is important that you visit yourself it is important that you know your potential right so coming back to what i was saying it is important that in these times when we are trying to unite the country when we are trying to strengthen the secular fabric of this country when we are talking about peace when we are talking about common brotherhood i request everyone over here please be first to support it because if not today tomorrow we will not get an opportunity to do it i am sure we will not get an opportunity to do it will not get a get a chance to do it because bhartiya janta party which is there to divide us bhartiya janta party which is there to divert us bhartiya janta party which do says beti bachao beti padhao bhartiya janta party which is trying to create division in the society bhartiya janta party which is trying to destroy the constitution of this country should not be their promise because if bhartiya janta party remains in power one day will come when we will lose samvidhan of this country 
one day will will come when you will not get an opportunity to sit here and i will not get an opportunity to speak here and i am getting goosebumps i am getting tears while i'm saying this this is bhartiya janta party doing hell bent to destroy constitution of this great country so you have to make a promise to yourself that you will not let bhartiya janta party impose anything anything on us this is a message to you all women sitting over here <coughs> i know with 99% literacy rate i don't think bhartiya janta party will open even an account here i am sure i trust you i trust the mindset of people of kerala i trust your intellectual i trust your intellect i know you will give them a befitting reply whenever they come here but before that it is important again saying that you know who you are that you know what is your strength because in because we are still facing a mindset where women are not allowed to come forward where women are still you know considered soft targets where 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 men feel the but do respect to men over here but unfortunately i'm saying it where men still feel that they have the entitlement to commit violence on women so my dear women know yourself and start saying loud no to such men learn how to say a loud no na karna seekh lo क्योंकि अगर आज हम ना करना नहीं सीखेंगे इफ टुडे वी विल नॉट हैव द करेज टू से नो टू वायलेंस वी विल वी विल रिमेन विक्टम्स इन टाइम्स टू कम वी विल रिमेन विक्टम्स ऑलवेज सो इट इज इंपॉर्टेंट दैट यू नो हाउ टू से नो दैट यू नो हाउ टू से नो दैट यू लर्न हाउ टू से नो recently though my do the uh, the uh, the lady over here who announced my name she introduced me as a dipika singh rajawat i need to share one thing that i have changed my surname from dipika singh rajawat to dipika pushkarnath pushkarnath is my father's name and singh rajawat was my husband's surname so somehow i got the courage and i am with proud sharing with you all because you are my people that i faced violence anyone can face violence i also faced violence so i decided to change my surname from dipika singh rajawat to dipika pushkarnath which although was not easy although was difficult because i told you we are in a setup where things are forced on women and they have less choice but at the same time when you have a strong will my dear women when you have a strong will you can do it like i did it so i request everyone here now call me address me as dipika pushkarnath because i am proud dipika pushkarnath with my father's name not with my husband's name ye aapka pyar hamesha mujhe kheench lata hai yahan par hamesha aur main aabari hu ye pyar dene ke liye i am so thankful i told you i told you i am born in north north but how have become daughter of south aap logon ki beti aap logon ki behan aap logon ki dost aap logon ki so will not take much time there are other speakers also 
again a promise from you all i need that you know yourself that you know how to say no to violence that you set your goal that you set your goal young women over there that you set your goal that you strive hard to achieve your objective that you know your that you every time start visiting yourself and wear hijab i love wearing hijab right we will not let anyone to do politics on our attire no politics on attire no politics on hijab no politics on bikini no politics on sari no politics on rang no politics on these things these are close to our heart and it is my choice it is your choice what to wear and what not to wear bane rahe jude rahe hamesha saath rahiye bahut khoobsurat hai kerala god's own country it's a beautiful place stay together stay strengthened maintain common brotherhood maintain peace you all are close to my heart once again let's clap for each other let's clap for yourself once again strong i want to let this hall roar strong it is not for them only it is for you also please do that i was telling these beautiful these leaders sitting over here i said it is not for them also it is for you also so you want them to clap please clap please clap please clap thank you so much god bless you and happy new year happy new year happy new year wishing you luck wishing you success may god bless us may god keep this place keep kerala this beautiful place this calicut always nice happy and people blessed thank you so much god bless you all